Hey guys, Team Burning One back here. Um, I had to skip the video, the cutscene or whatever, because my memory card was full. So anyway, what happened was um something about the missile guidance hardware was stolen. Make you stole it, give it to Drake, and then um Zoe Nightshade was caught with a f 44 millimeter pistol and lockpick equipment by some guards. So they decided to put her in a trolley at the station or whatever for I don't know anyway down here those guys I don't need you don't need to kill them there's, um just so I know there's gonna be a room later on where those guys are gonna be there it doesn't close yeah that's right that's the final bond moment is that Normally, I prefer to switch to this. Switch into stun grenade. Go to laser. Throw the stun grenade. Close the door and run like crazy. Switch to your pistol. Change to your laser again and melt the hinges. up there and through a hallway is that room that I told you guys about earlier that you're not supposed to go through. So anyway. Shoot. Anyway, through here there's gonna be a secret door. Oh, right. Sorry, I need to break those windows. Now, up there and down through the ladders and stuff is going to be an extra room that has more guards. You don't want to go there either. And then here comes Rook without his missing eye. So he's in a chopper. So let's take Rook out with our guided missiles, which incidentally the monitor for these looks way cooler than the one for uh, the GameCube version. Mission complete. That's how he loses his eye, of course. He's gonna get stabbed by his controller or something. That's how, that's a gamer's injury. They're playing an aerial, an ace combat game or something, and they end up, they end up stabbing themselves with a the joystick. Who knows? Anyway, that, ladies and gents, is the end of James Bond 007 Nightfire Level 1. Well, Level 2. First one was a uh, Paris Prelude. Level 2. Whatever it is. Um, 
Watch him a jigger, um, the exchange. So Team Brownie one signing off. Bye.